Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, good evening. Hi, class, how are you? Hello, good evening. Hi, teacher, good evening. Katya, how are you? Hi, thank you, teacher. I am better. You look better. Well, you're on camera now. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good to see you. Thank you, teacher. How was your weekend, class? Um, excellent. What did you do? Um, I went with my husband to the cinema, and then I went to eat with him. All right. And I was it a was it a date or or you go you went with the children? No, uh, was a date. Nice. <laughs> a little bit date. Yeah. <laughs> good. Those are good every every now and then. Yeah. Hey, good for you. What movie did you watch? Um, I, I don't remember, but it's with. Hi, it's the actor. I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, her name. yeah, that it's movie. The... Nah, you know, it's with Brad Pitt. Mm -hmm. Um. He has a new movie, Brad Pitt? Nah. Wait. Well, anyways, uh, you went to the movie, so that's good. Was the movie good? Yeah, it's very interesting. It's very interesting and you don't remember. <laughs> ah, no, but it's new. It's a new movie. <laughs> But I don't remember um, the name. The store? No. It's the, the, uh, the ultima movie de él. Okay. I don't remember. I have a question. Where did you go? <clears throat> Where where did you go? What movie? What cinema did you go to? Ah, uh, Cinemark. Oh, okay. How much? How much is an entrance at Cinemark now? How much money? Yes. How much money does it cost to go to the movies now? Um, four dollar for um, four and fifty dollars. Uh, this. Yeah, for fifty dollars. For fifty, okay, yeah. it's not bad. Because I imagine it was more. No, because when you have your IFP, uh huh, is reduced the cost. Oh, one dollar. You, you get a discount. Yeah. Oh, okay. And also for my batch, apply a little bit. Reviews in Talos, yeah. Oh, okay, I have not gone to the movies in maybe 15 years. Really, why? Because I don't, I download them, <laughs> I watch them on Cuevana or something. Um, but you, you watch. Um, Netflix or Disney? Yes. No, you what know what you happened? Play for serious. In Netflix, you know, I liked Stranger Things. It was very good. Stranger Things. Uh huh. But I don't know, man. I, I don't like Netflix very much now. Um, what happened was that when I was in Talos. When I was in Google, we had a list of maybe like 25 links of where to watch movies. Like 
in high definition. So everybody, you know, we share the links. And I remember, for example, Top Gun, the second day Top Gun came out, I was watching it in my house in full HD. Um, this is a this a uh, Top Gun Maverick. Uh, mm -hmm. This movie I I watch. <laughs> mm -hmm. I watch. Yeah, it was okay. I mean, I prefer I prefer the first one. My favorite uh, my favorite movies are, for example. Mm, the Fast and Furious and movies with the drama it's about uh, criminals or oh, yeah. okay. this is my favorite. I like Tarantino movies. Anything Tarantino makes is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what about the, you, Miguel? How was your weekend? That face, I don't know. Teacher, I watch Netflix. Uh, I like for dramas. Very interesting for me. Doramas. Yes. Watching Netflix is expert in doramas, in movies, uh, Koreans, and the. Uh, oh, Latin. okay. Yes, I like me. Uh, you, you know what, class? You know, if you, if you ever want to watch a very, very good series, that is actually my favorite TV series. It's uh, watch the blacklist. The blacklist. Man, that movie HBO. is. No, it's it's actually now in in Netflix. The eight oh, seasons. Oh, okay. Repeat the show. In my case. The blacklist. The blacklist. In my okay. case, I didn't have time for watch series in Netflix because. Um, I I took care of my baby, yes. but my I one day I remember I watched uh, Anna. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a good movie. It's a very very interesting movie. Anna uh, is about a Russian girl. She, oh yes, I watched oh, that, Anna. Yeah, it's classic. It's very interesting. Yeah, that's wow. wicked. It's classic. It's, it's crazy. No, but I recommend you to watch the blacklist. The blacklist is watch. You know what? Just watch the first episode. Watch the first episode, and you will see that you will never stop. <laughs> Yeah, what happened is this, the blacklist, he is the most, like the biggest criminal in the world. The number oh. one in the FBI. Very interesting. And, and the show starts like this, you know, he is, he is the most wanted criminal in the world. And he walks into the building of the FBI like that. He just walks in and the security tells him, what are you doing? What do you want? Oh, please tell the, the director he wants to see me. And because he knew that the cameras were going to recognize his face. So immediately, immediately the building closed and he was arrested. And they told him, why, why did you, se entregó, why did you turn yourself in? And he said, because I will give you the blacklist. And he says, we have the blacklist, the FBI. He says, that's a lie. I know the criminal. I am the number one criminal. I know all the criminals in the world. But it's a very good show. You should watch it. So he makes a deal with the FBI. They don't touch him, but he will give them uh, somebody from the blacklist. Okay. Well, in one, in one, he comes to El Salvador. Yeah, like for five minutes, he comes to El Salvador. How long time have you watched the series? Teacher? Oh, man, it, it finished last year. No, this year, I watched the last episode because I was really addicted to that show. The last, last episode, I cried. I cried very much. Like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Promise me, but yeah, you know, just watch one episode and you you will not regret it. You will be hooked. Okay. Today right. is the day. 
<laughs> yeah. Hey, it's raining in your house, class? Yes, in yes. my house. Yes. Yeah, for example, house, when yes. I return to my house, I walk for for all the streets with my umbrella because the raining was um was um heavy. How do you say ratio? Heavy. The rain was heavy. The rain is the rain was heavy. Yes. Yes. Teacher, how do you say is the uh, uh, creciente is? <laughs> Can you give it to me in a sentence? Is uh, in, my, in my house uh, where I uh, I arrive in the night is today is a creciente. Mm -hmm. How do you say? It's, in, in it says case. rising, rise. Rising. Rice. Yes, the verb is rise, like R I S E. Rice. So, so then you can you spell mm, rice R I S E rice. rice. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. So you say rising. Rising. Okay. Teacher, you watching Marvel is in Disney movies? No, you know, I, I don't really like like epic movies or or, or <laughs> science no, fiction. I am um, was the last week. I watched um, Doctor Strange. Oh, but it's, it's good. An interesting movie. The whole year. yes. Whoa. <laughs> Very interesting. It's a good movie. Yeah, it's a great movie. Yeah, it's an excellent movie. But my yes. favorite, um, what's his name? My favorite, my favorite hero. I forgot his name. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. Oh, oh, it's good. He's my favorite. So I don't I don't like superheroes, but if you ever ask me who is your favorite superhero, it's Ghost Rider because I love how he kills you. Uh, my nice. favorite superhero is Batman. No, but I, I oh, love I love oh. Ghost Rider because he looks into your eyes and he takes your soul mm. and he sends you to hell. I mean, it's cruel. It's very cruel. Yes. All right, class. So let's start. Welcome everybody. Thank you. I hope you had a very good weekend. I, uh, Katia Monterosa is back. She's good now. I see Marielos. I see Sergio. I see Marce. I see JJ Avalos. I see Maritza. I see a new face, Miguel Lara. Hi, teacher. Hello, Miguel. Is today your, is today your first day? Uh, yes, I have been sick. Oh, we COVID? No, it's other. <laughs> oh, man! Everybody has COVID now. Everybody's getting it. <laughs> no COVID. No, in in, in <laughs> fact, in fact, I'm very scared because yesterday we had a reunion. We had a reunion. You know, some family came from my from my in laws, and one lady was very sick, so she went to the room and to sleep a little. And today she did a test and she tested positive. And I was talking to her a long time yesterday. You know? So I said, oh my God. So I don't know, I will go get tested too. So she tested, she, she tested positive for COVID. Who coach? I'm sorry? Whom? Um, uh, no, it was some some family of my wife. Mm. It was a big reunion in the house. So, but one person she was very sick yesterday. So today she decided to go take a a, a COVID test exam, and she tested positive. Oh so, my god! Yeah. So everybody were like, "Oh, oh now what do we do?" <laughs> 
we are a little worried. So, okay. All right, so listen, uh, let's finish. Remember uh, last week, what did we do last week? Who remembers? The last week uh, was repeat after me. It and was quotes, and quotes speech. Quoted speech, yes. Quoted speech and another name I don't remember, but it's the same. It's speech. <laughs> <laughs> it was quoted speech and Recorded speech. Recorded speech. Recorded speech. Quoted speech and reported speech. Report. Remember from report. report. Maybe, maybe that's where the word reporter comes from. Reported speech and quoted speech. And what is the difference? Is the difference big? Um, no, it's a little bit different because mm -hmm. reported when you when you when you talk when you talk about he said me and quoted speech is remember that another per, another person speak um son or or different things but it's the same yes i it's think when, in, uh, it, when you use um recommends Mm -hmm. Yes, quote. You know that grammar is starting to have a little problems in the United States now because of that inclusive, inclusive language. El, el idioma inclusivo, remember? Have you heard about that? Idioma yes. inclusivo. Yes. Is some people they don't want to be recognized he or she so you have to call them they. What do you say, teacher? Inclusive language. Yes. Because he he uh, is she or he or. Yes, but he. um no. What I'm saying is that now is is beginning to be accepted because I think there are 24 different type of pronouns now. Because there are some people that in the morning they want to be he, in the afternoon they, and at night she. So I don't know. But this is becoming a problem when it comes to grammar, like reported and quoted speech. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so um, I was reading about that a while because I have some pages of teachers in English and they're telling me that they're, they're facing this problem now. The pronouns. Hmm. So, Teacher, yes. Excuse me. As you know, as you know, for for Spanish, uh, exists the the Real Academy of Spanish. I don't know how to say in English. La Real mm -hmm. Academia de la Lengua Española. Yes. But in the case of the English language, uh, do uh, does exist? Uh, it's the some, British. Some institution like that. The British Academy, yes. The British, British Academy. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Do you know that cantinflear is now a verb, a formal verb? Cantinflar because of cantinflas? Oh, really? And that, that, yes, it's called uh, cantinflea mucho. De, uh, yes. Di, habla mucho, dice poco. <laughs> I love uh, that explanation because it's perfect. <laughs> but I it was. Mean, yeah. Google is a verb now. WhatsApp is a verb. Facebook is a verb. Yeah. So, okay, let me see. Did we do? Oh, yeah, we did some listening exercises. Do you remember that too? Yes. <clears throat> so let me see. Uh, teacher, I... Yes. I had a problem with my homework because the platform um, has a, a big ground and I don't know when I when I write when I wrote my answer 
the page um, has a ground. I don't know what happened. Yes, um, I promise you that that problem is eternal, the platform. I do not know why that platform always goes, uh, always goes down. It comes to a point that I tell people, don't worry about it. If it's wrong, you know, because you, you can always tell Inglés Corporativo, you know, hey, the platform doesn't work and they will understand. Yeah, be, because I tried to upload my homework, but this is at this, the same room in, a, in all platform. Mm -hmm. And I can't upload my homework. Oh, okay. Don't worry, but it, there will be a day that you can. Sometimes it's working fine. Okay. All right, class. Today we're going to study about a little bit about grammar, present perfect and simple past. Who can give me one sentence in present perfect? Only one person, please. Marielos, you're very quiet today. Can you tell me? <laughs> okay, teacher, when you were talking uh, with that. Classmates. Okay. Okay. I have been in San Salvador yesterday. Uh, no, it's not correct. Um, this is my example. Yeah, I yeah. have yeah. I have already placed my order. Okay. I like your example, but I don't like that you're reading. No, you have, you have to be spontaneous. <laughs> okay, I have already um, placed my order. Okay, good. So, Marielos, do you want to correct yours? Okay, uh, yes. Uh, the, the, I was wrong because I used yesterday and, person, and used present perfect tense is not in past. Okay, okay. Um, I have forgotten my cell phone every time. <laughs> Mm, no. Do you remember no, when could... the present perfect the the um the example is subject plus have plus has plus very past participle plus complement. Okay, let's do one thing. Marielos, do you work? Yes. Where do you work? Okay, okay. I I, I understand. No, no, but tell me, where do you work? I, I work in, in Unicais. I have worked in Unicais for 10 years. For 10 years. Okay, good. Yes. There you go. I have worked in Unicais for 10 years. Uh, Miguel Lara, do you work? Yes, teacher. Where do you work? Um, <laughs> in finance. Is that a company? Uh, the name of the company is Millicom. Millicom. How long have you worked there? Um, how, uh, eight years. Okay, can you answer complete? I have worked in... I have worked... Um, no, I have working. No. No. Very past participle. I have worked. I have worked. I have worked. I have worked for uh, eight years in the company. Okay, I have worked eight years in the company. Okay. So that is present perfect. We say I have and the verb in past participle, correct? Yes, plus complement. Okay, Milton, where do you work now? Uh, I work at a tech to field company. Okay, and before uh, that? Uh, before? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Nantec uh, company. Okay, good. How long did you work there? 
Uh, take to fill um, 20, 24 years ago. So I worked there 24 I worked, years. I worked 24 years ago. No, ago, no. Just, ago, I, no, only? Okay, my only question years. is, how long did you work in that company? Uh, I, how long? Yes, uh, I work, I work uh, 24 years. Okay, good. It's okay, teacher? Yes. Yes, yes okay. and, I, and I will explain why. Okay, listen. Simple past versus simple, uh, present perfect. It's, the difference is very obvious. Simple past. The past. The action started and the action finished. The action doesn't exist anymore. The action doesn't exist anymore. Yes. Um, I lived in Los Planes five years ago. It's past. Yes. It's past. It's simple past. The action started five years ago and finished five years ago. Yes? <laughs> Do I live in Los Planes in this moment? No, I don't. I lived... I live in Los Planes five years ago. Where do you live teacher, now? Yes. Teacher, for example, I I went to the beach yesterday. Yes. I went to the beach yesterday. That's simple past. The action started yesterday. The action finished yesterday. Now, let me go back to my example. I lived in Los Planes. Oh, okay. That means I don't live there no more. Where do you live now? Oh, I live in Vista Hermosa. Okay. How long? I have lived in Vista Hermosa three years. So there's a connection from the past to the present. That is present perfect. An action that started in the past continues to the present now. Um, sorry, I have a question. When, sure. When I use present perfect, is action, for example, uh, so say, uh, for a long time? Really, the time is not important, but you do mention it at the end. Because if I tell you I have lived in Vista Hermosa, it's, right. it's, it's really incomplete. Now. I need a compliment. The compliment tells okay. you the time. But the time can be two days, it can be 20 years, it doesn't matter, but you just need to say the time and the compliment. I have worked in, in Telus two weeks. Or you could say I have worked in Telus 10 years. Mm, okay. Okay, so what is present perfect class? It's an action that started in the past and is active in the present. Teacher, is yes. possible uh, the combination is, uh, you say, uh, I have lived in Quesaltepeque three years when I was a uh, for inundation. No, that is simple past. Because when you say when I was a student, you're speaking past. So that action started and that action finished. So you say, oh, I lived in Quetzaltepec. I lived, oh, when I lived, oh, okay. I lived in Quetzaltepec three years when I was a student. Okay. For example, me, I love San Miguel. I lived in San Miguel two years. It's incredibly hot, but I like San Miguel, it's nice. <laughs> Okay, so very simple. Listen, don't complicate. Porque eso son... Let me tell you one thing. Le voy a explicar una cosa bien, bien fácil, bien rápido en, en español, ¿ok? Por favor, sepan qué tiempo están hablando. 
¿Saben cuántos presentes? Yo no tengo, o sea, esto a veces confunde a la gente, presente perfecto, porque todos pensamos que presentes en este momento. Y yo no sé qué tiene que ver presente perfecto con una acción que empezó en el pasado y continúa en el presente. No sé. No, 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 no encajo el nombre de ese tema con, con lo que es la acción, pero sí es la gramática. Pero en inglés, ¿saben cómo en los colores creo que son tres? De, ¿Cuántos colores son los neutros? Que de, de ese salen todos. Tres o cuatro. ¿verdad? Tres. Cuatro, es. Tres. Tres, ok. Tres. En inglés, Tres. en inglés hay seis tiempos. Los tiempos simples y los perfectos. Esa es la mezcla de todos los tiempos. Les voy a dar un ejemplo. Futuro simple, yo voy a comer. Ya, yeah? I'm going to eat. Presente continuo, yo estoy comiendo. Hmm, presente continuo, yo estoy comiendo. Futuro simple, yo voy a comer. Entonces mezclemos esos dos. Futuro continuo, yo voy a estar comiendo. ¿Ya? Yeah? Y, y, y es igual en español. Pero nunca vamos a entender, yo voy a estar comiendo si no entendemos de, de dónde nació eso. ¿Me entienden? Entonces, a lo que les digo, memoricen, eh, quiero que entiendan bien lo que están aprendiendo, porque, por ejemplo, mañana no van a decir, hey, ¿qué vieron ayer? Ah, el presente. No. Yo siempre, hay un ejemplo, me acuerdo que había una, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Tenía una vecina que ni sabía que existía y un día vino a tocar la puerta y me dijo, ¿ve que usted es profesor de inglés? Yo, sí. Fíjense que necesito ayuda porque tengo un examen mañana y no lo entiendo. La típica que nunca estudió y tiene examen en, en, el, en la universidad y no sabía qué hacer. Entonces, ok, ni modo, ya estaba en la puerta. Y le dije, ok, ¿qué está viendo? Y me dice, presente. ¿Cuál? Y me dice, presente. ¿Cuál presente? Pues sí, presente, ya. Me, o sea, después me, me, me salió tan sarcástica. Yo le dije, mira, ¿sabes cuántos presentes hay? Yo trabajo, presente simple. Yo estoy trabajando, presente continuo. Yo he trabajado, presente perfecto. Yo he estado trabajando, presente perfecto continuo. Hay tantos presentes, le dije, y si tú estás viendo el simple y yo te enseño el perfecto, te voy a confundir. Y ese es el problema de solo decir, ah, aprendí el presente. No hay un presente. Siempre hay un presente simple, un presente perfecto, un presente ya. Acuérdense bien eso, de verdad. Acuérdense de mí en eso, porque si no les va a costar. Porque la gente, incluso en TOEIC, en TOEFL, siempre piensan que present, present perfect. ¿Qué es present perfect? O sea, es una acción en este momento. No. La gente siempre piensa que presente es presente continuo, la acción que estamos haciendo ya. Y no es eso. ¿Ok? Entonces, lo mismo es para futuro y lo mismo es para pasado. ¿Ok? Entonces, simple past, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Y saben por qué se llama simple past? Porque es bien simple. No tienen que complicarse nada. Simple past, yesterday I ate pizza. Simple. The action started in the past, finished in the past. Ayer yo comí pizza. Ayer yo iba a comer pizza cuando empezó a llover y me llamaron y me dijeron que ya no podían llegar porque la lluvia. Eso ya no es simple. Ahí se están complicando. Ok. Uh, ok, let's continue. So, simple past, action started in the past, finished in the past, correct? Marce, yes. Marce, did you see your boyfriend in the weekend? What? Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, okay. I can no, hear you. I didn't see it. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> But it's past. 
Yeah. It's passed. No, I didn't see him because the weekend passed. Okay. Um, Katia Monterrosa, did you go out in the weekend? No, teacher. No, I didn't go out. I didn't go out. All right, Juan Jose, JJ, what did you eat for lunch today? I ate today a soup. Soup, okay, very good. Now, Milton, Milton told me I went to the beach. Yo fui a la playa, yes? Yes. Puede decir él, yo he ido a la playa. No. I have gone to the beach. Can you say that, Milton? I have gone to the beach. Mm, it's possible, teacher. In what a scenario? You need an a scenario. Yes, you can say I have gone to the beach, but you need an a scenario. And punto, the complement is the scenario. So listen to this, Milton. What is what is simple past? Can you give me the definition of simple past? Uh, simple past is I, I went. No, but no, don't give me an example. Tell me. Okay, I went to the beach. But give me a compliment. Yesterday, last week. Yes. Monday. Yesterday. Okay, yes. good. I went to the beach yesterday. Very good. So what is the definition of simple past? If the, the sentence uh, begin and the, the finish. In the past. In the past. In the past, yes. Good, remember. Please. Yes, simply past. Yes, say it complete. Okay, very good. Now, I went to the beach yesterday. I just thought yesterday's finished, started yesterday, finished. Now, when do we say I have gone to the beach? You can say this, I have gone to the beach two times this month. What started and hasn't finished? He won't. Puedo decir, yo fui dos veces a la playa este mes. Yes. Yes, I can. Pi piensen, estamos, estamos en el 11. Oigan lo que yo dije. Yo fui dos veces a la playa este mes. Yes, you can say, teacher. No, you can't. Why? Porque el mes no ha terminado. Ah, wow. yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Entonces es, yo he ido a la playa dos veces este mes. Puede que no vaya, pero igual el mes no ha terminado. And then that is present perfect. That, that, that is present perfect. Okay. That, that's, that's Milton's example. I went to the beach yesterday. Yes, it's simple past. Because yesterday started and yesterday finished. Yeah. Okay. But if he says, I have gone to the beach, hmm, you need a compliment. You need the scenario. I have gone to the beach two times this month. Okay. And then, perfect. teacher, the definition is, is present perfect is an action that started in the past and mm -hmm. is still in, in the, the present. present. In this case, July. We are in July 11th. July started, but July is still active. Okay. Let me give you an example. Let's go today. Let's say today. Is this correct? I ate pupusas for breakfast today. Yeah. Yes. yes. What is past in that moment? What, but why, why, what is past? Porque today aún está activo. The morning. Son las the morning in the morning, the tendría que ser, I ate pupusas in the morning. Yes, breakfast. Yes. Breakfast. 
But if I say I have eaten two pupusas today, it's correct. Yes. Because yeah. today is still but active is, for three yeah. more but hours. In this case, I put the the certainly the certainly time now, right? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, in this case, I put in. For example, morning, afternoon. Exactly, exactly. That's why. That's why. I always remember the complement is very important. The complement defines the sentence. The complement defines. Yes. Example: I ate pupusas this morning. Okay, good. This morning is the past. Like what I told you, the beach. I love the beach. I go every weekend, blah, example. But if I say, I have gone to the beach two times this month, faltan 15 días para que acabe el mes, there is a probability that maybe I will go again. Because July is active. Now, June, June is over. June finished. There is simple past. I went to the beach two times in June. Mm -hmm. Or you can say last month. Last month. Okay. Last week. Okay. Last year. But today, this week, this month, this year is still active. Teacher, I have undersin a up your use with complement is uh, the for definition in the past finish. What I'm sorry, what do you mean? Sorry, uh, the auxiliary half is with present oh, perfect. Oh, yes, Same. always. Mm -hmm. In you, you use it half, you is. In no, don't finish the the time is the event is in past sim, simple past you finish the action yes not sister more more yes but remember present. one one very important thing when you speak present perfect the complement is something that is still active for example oh. July July is still active. June is not active anymore. So you can't say this. I I have ¿cómo es? I went to the beach two times this month. That's not no. correct because you're saying I went, but, hey, but yeah, but hey, but July is still active. No, sí, pero no voy a ir. Oh, okay, then that's different. But grammatically. You can say oh. you you fui dos veces a, a la playa este mes. You fui. Have is possibility open for the action. Yes. Okay. Okay. I understand. Okay, so that that is the difference between present perfect, simple past. Do you understand or have doubts? Uh, I understand. I, I understand. No. I understand. I understand. I understand. Yeah, so remember, something that is active, what is active? Today is active, this week is active, this month is active. Eh, doctores preguntan mucho esa, esas preguntas, hacen mucho esas preguntas. How many times have you had fever this week? How many times have you gone to the bathroom today? How many cups of coffee have you drunk today? Yes. Miguel's microphone is very strong. <laughs> no, it's not very strong. It's very sensitive. Yes. Okay, so let me see. Do you see my screen now? Yes. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
All right. Okay, let's. At the end of this class, participants will practice present for per, per, sorry, present perfect and simple past. Let's listen to the video. Hi, are you ready to use two tenses at once? Stay and learn how to use present perfect versus simple past. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect to report a recent event without giving a specific time reference. The trainer has saved all the paintings. Use the simple past to report an event with a specific time reference. After a day at the mall, the woman went out to her car but couldn't find her keys. I started teaching her to paint last year. When is present perfect used? Present perfect is used when reporting a recent event without a specific time reference. The present perfect is also used for repeated actions in the past with no time reference. It is also used for actions or situations that began in the past and continue until now, especially when for or since is used. When is simple past used? Simple past is used to describe an event that happened at a specific time in the past. So how long have you studied English for? Who was your first English teacher? All right, so let's do a little bit of practice here. I want, I want you to make one question and the second one would be present perfect. Example, where do you work? Oh, how long have you worked there? Where do you live? How long have you lived there? Are you married? Yes. How long have you been married? Do you understand the question and, and the second question? Okay, so Sergio, yes. please ask, please ask Katia. Hi, Katia. Hi, Sergio. Where do you live? I live uh, in Santa Ana. How long have you lived there? I have lived here for 45 years. Thank you. How old are you, Katya? I am 20, 29, 29 years old. Almost 15. 50. Oh, you're 49. Oh, yes, yes. Sorry. 49. Okay. Okay. No, the reason why I ask you because you cannot, si ha vivido tanto tiempo in Santa Ana, you can say, I have lived here all my life. All my life. It's like an expression. So, you know, how long have you lived in Santa Ana? Oh, I have lived here all my life. Yeah. Or, or like you said, 40, 44 years. Okay, very good. Thank you. Good question, Sergio. Okay, Katia, attack somebody. Okay. Attack. Um, <laughs> okay, Marielo. Hi, Katia. Hi, Marielo. Um, uh, where, um, where did you where did you study? Oh. I study at the university. Oh. Yes, in the university. Okay. The university. I study at the um, national university. Okay. Marielos, but currently, are you are you studying in the in the university? Excuse me. Are you currently studying in the university? No, I studied. Oh, you studied. Was in past yes. Where mm -hmm. did you study? So, Katia, so that's in past. Yes, in past. Where did you study? Mm -hmm. So, but remember, so it's impossible. You cannot ask her a present perfect question because she's not studying anymore. 
Yeah. So, Katia, no puede ser. Where do you study? I, ella dijo, I studied in the National University. So you can't say, oh, how long have you studied in the National University? Because she will say, mm -hmm. no, I, I don't study. I studied in the National University. Okay. Okay. Only in person. Yes. Uh, Teacher. Yes. And can I answer how long have you been married? Of course, yes. And it's for present perfect. Yes. Okay. I if that person is married. Mm -hmm. But if I don't know if it's married, I I have to ask. Are, are you, you married? married? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Teacher, an example, how long have you known your best friend? Yes. Mm -hmm. For example. Yes. Teacher, another example. Did you study English, study English before? Yes, I did. It's a, it's a simply perfect. No, that's perfect. simple past. Simple past. The entrada dijo did y dijo before. Those words are past. Ah, okay. Did you did you study English yesterday? Yes, I did. Do Simple you study? Past. Yes. Do you study English? Oh, yes, I do. How long have you studied English? Present perfect. Uh, so let's, okay. uh, let's do this. Um, Who has not spoken very much today? Marce and JJ. Marce, how long oh, have man. how long con lo que dijo Miguel? How long have you known your boyfriend? Listen to this question. Not how long have you been girlfriend boyfriend. How long have you known your boyfriend? I have no him for three years okay good excellent how long has he been your boyfriend i have been with my boyfriend for one year okay good you see that example right there that's a perfect example she has known him for three years and she has been with him for one year um irene are you there Yes, teacher. How are you, Irena? Good, teacher. Thanks. How, how are is you? how is the Tonacatepeque part of Alta Vista? <laughs> well, uh, it is raining. I can imagine Alta Vista because it's separated. Like what Marce was telling me, is part San Martin, part <laughs> Tonacatepeque, and the other part Ilopango. Imagine. <laughs> It's raining in the Alta Vista part of Tonacatepec. <laughs> but in the Alta, in the San Martin part, it's not raining. No. Maybe. No, now it's raining, I think, in all the country. Yes, of course. Uh, Irena, you work in Escalon, correct? Yes, teacher. In what company? It, ETS Consulting. Okay. What do you do there? <clears throat> um... um Administrative coordinator. Oh, okay. How long have you been? How long have you worked in in there in that company? Uh, I have been working there for five years. I have worked there for five years. Oh, sorry. I have worked there for fa for five years. No, yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you. No, it's okay. What you said. I have been working there for five years. Pero si otro tiempo. It's present perfect continuous. And, and I can use with your answer, with yes. your question, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. But that I will explain to you tomorrow uh, because I don't know if you remember before in the class, I told you that when you mix tenses, like you mix, you mix a simple present and present perfect, you can say present, uh, a simple future with a present perfect, you can say a future perfect. Mm -hmm. So future, what you- in, in future, in 
present perfect continuous and past perfect. And I don't know, I get confused with all these teachers. Yes, but yes. For example, when you, when, you, when you use the auxiliary how in past, what that tense, what, yes, what tense is that? When I say, because now I say I have known, for example, but if I say I have known, is depends. it correct? Depends, depends, uh, past perfect? Mm -hmm. That's past perfect. No, the past perfect would be I had known. The past of have is had. Okay, the, the auxiliary is in past and the verb is in participle. Uh, yes, always. Okay. Good question. Good question. Okay, thank you. But that's what I was telling the class. De que, you know what? Hagamos una cosa. Si terminamos todo para el jue, para el miércoles esta semana, hagamos el último día esta semana. Les voy a enseñar bien esos seis tiempos básicos. Yes. En inglés, sí. ¿qué les dije? Please. Very good, yes. teacher. Very good. Sí, porque yes. estoy en una ensalada en mi cabeza. No, no, no. Yes. 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 Lo que pasa, teacher, es que para, para usarlos a la hora de hablar es lo que, lo que más cuesta, porque uh -huh. se enreda un Uh -huh. Sí, no pero lo que, lo que exacto, pero lo que Ajá. yo quiero que ustedes sepan es, por ejemplo, gris. Ah, gris, tengo que mezclar el, el blanco y negro. Yes. Uh -huh. Entonces, ah, eh, pero para definir si, eso, si vemos, vamos a ver, por ejemplo, presente perfecto pro, eh, continuo. Oh, man, para ah, ahí tengo que mezclar el presente perfecto con el presente continuo. ¿Me entienden? Uh -huh. Eso es lo yes. que quiero que hagamos, pero necesitamos saber bien. ¿Cuál es el gris? ¿Cuál es el negro? Sí. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el blanco y cuál es el negro porque, para sacar el gris? Porque ajá, yo me pongo las, como la fórmula, yeah. pero a la hora de hablar es como que, uh, ¿cómo okay. puedo mezclar este con el... la, la ventaja es que ustedes ya saben esos tiempos, solo vamos a hacer como un repaso y no les va a ser fácil, no les va a ser difícil, como, porque entienden qué tiempo vamos a hacer. Pero sí lo que les digo es que necesito que no digan, ah, estamos viendo el futuro. No, ¿cuál futuro? Futuro simple, futuro progresivo, futuro perfecto, ¿cuál? Porque también existe en español, la gente, futuro simple, yo voy a comer. Futuro progresivo, yo voy a estar comiendo. Futuro perfecto, yo habré comido. Pero si ustedes dicen, ah, estamos viendo el futuro, uh -huh. quedan igual, ¿me entienden? Uh -huh. Por eso es que yo siempre digo a la clase, ¿Qué vimos ayer? Future. No, pero ¿cuál? O sea, future. No. What future? What past? Yes, teacher. It's very complicated. Uh, yes. Yes and no. Depends. If you understand, it's not complicated. Yes. If you understand. Well, for me, it's but, complicated. But that's what I'm telling you. Like, if I understand white and I understand black, I will have no problem with gray. Gray. Yes, okay. if I understand red, if I understand white, I will have no problem with pink, I think it's the... Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, yeah. I have a dog. I'm sorry? I have a dog. You have a dog? Dog, no. A doubt? Doubt, yes. A doubt. Oh, yes, tell me, tell me. Uh, but you, it's funny, say, uh, for example, I'm going to eat. Yes. Uh, to uh, future. Uh, I don't know if future perfect. Or... No, it's simple future. By simple future, but I can say I will eat. Yes. It's another form. It's another form. Can you explain to me, JJ? And I'm sorry I say it in Spanish, but I will tell you why, because if you say it in Spanish, if you can explain this to me in Spanish, then you can explain this to me in English. JJ, ¿por qué, qué la diferencia de yo voy a comer y yo comeré? Um, yo voy a beber, yo beberé. Yo voy a dormir, yo dormiré. Yo voy a comprar, yo compraré. What is the difference? The two are future. What is the difference? I will eat in the future, but mm -hmm. you don't know when. 
Okay. I think that I go into it maybe it's near the time. Okay, okay. JJ, do you have children? Yes. Imagine your children, Papa. Fíjate que hoy en la clase de español me dijeron, me preguntaron que qué significa la diferencia entre voy a comer y comeré. ¿Cómo se lo explica a su hijo, JJ? No, le va a decir esto, la pues. Ok, vaya, mira, cuando vos decís yo comeré, o sea, es como, como lo voy a hacer ya, ¿me entendés? Y cuando vos decís yo voy a comer, o sea, es como más, más después. And we start complicating things y quedamos igual, cantinflando. Yes, sir. The, yes. um, when, when you use I am going, es porque lo va a hacer en ese momento. En cambio, cuando usamos el will, es que no tenemos, por ejemplo, algo en algún tiempo en específico que vamos a, que vamos a comer. O sea, comeré, por ejemplo, digamos en la mañana, yo voy a comer pupusas ahora. Es porque, digamos que cuando llegué al trabajo de aquí a mi casa, de, de mi casa de trabajo, voy a comprar pupusas y voy a comer. Pero si voy a decir yo comeré, es porque lo voy a hacer, pero no tengo un tiempo. ¿Cree que el profesor de su hijo acepta esa respuesta? When you use so. going to, you are sure I don't about so. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> okay, let me explain this to you. Let me explain this to you. Y yo no entendía esto hasta que empecé a dar clases de inglés. Imagínense I, okay, en, nosotros que lo estamos aprendiendo. No es que se lo chivo, cuando uno aprende otro idioma, aprende más el, el, el suyo, el propio. Es como, ah, por eso. Ah, I, I, uh, Marce, I'm sorry, I'm going to use you for example. Because, okay. because you are young and I think everybody here is married, I think. Marce, you have a boyfriend, correct? Yes, correct. Do you love your boyfriend? Yes. ¿Se van a casar? Uh, it's probably. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Wait, wait okay. two years. Okay, okay good. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, when? When? Imagine you get married, when? Okay, I will marry in two years. I'm going to get married in two years. Okay, I'm going to get married in two years. Okay, let me explain to you the difference. Okay, listen, the difference between going to and will. Sometimes the difference is not important. Sometimes. Because it's the same, lo mismo. Sometimes the difference is not important, but sometimes yes, it's important. In this case, did you listen to Marce? She said, are you going to marry your boyfriend? Yes, probably. Yes, right? That's what she said, correct? So it's a plan. It's a plan. Sergio, what are you going to do in Christmas? Microphone, microphone. Sorry. I will enjoy with my family, maybe with okay. a big dinner. Okay, so I'm going to enjoy with my family. It's a plan, right? It's a plan. Now listen to this. Marcela, imagine your boyfriend tonight. He says, Marcela, I love you. Le da el anillo. Casémonos. Este agosto tres. Okay. <laughs> Is that a plan or a compromise? A compromise. Good. Now, Marcela, now she can say, I will get married August 3. It's a yeah. compromise. I'm going to get married in two years. It's a plan. I will get married in uh, tomorrow. It's not a plan that yeah, yeah, I fetch, yeah, I order, I compromiso. It can be a plan, yes, maybe, but 
Yes. For example, Marielos, imagine your sons, your you have six children. Imagine children number four is his birthday Saturday. <coughs> your son's birthday is Saturday, right? So all the class were going to go eat lunch that day. Do you want to come? Do you want to come eat lunch with us on Saturday? Maybe. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> want to come, come. I, I was expecting you say, no, I can't. Why? Because um, I will be with my son. It's his birthday party. Means. Teacher, then do you use I'm going for something that is not sure and I will for something that is sure? No, I, yo lo pusiera más. Going to is for a plan. Plan, okay. And will yeah. is for a compromise. Okay. Pero recuerden but que un compromiso. That, that can do it. Yes, un compromiso, recuerden que siempre se puede romper por a o de okay. motivo, right? Uh -huh. Por eso, por eso, les digo, a veces no es importante la, la diferencia, a veces sí. Ya han visto en películas cuando alguien le propone matrimonio a otra persona. ¿Cómo le dice siempre? Will you get marry me? Siempre. Will you marry me? Will you marry me? Uh -huh. ¿Por qué nunca dicen, are you going to marry me? Uh -huh. Because there, boom, will you marry me? And the answer, yes, I will. Mm -hmm. You are compromising. Okay. ¿Quién me quiere ayudar a pintar mi casa? I will. ¿Qué es I will? Me estoy haciendo voluntario. ¿Qué es voluntario? Me estoy comprometiendo. Si yo me hago voluntario es porque me estoy comprometiendo algo, right? Okay, so, vamos a ver un poco más de eso mañana, pero... Entonces, I will en español es todos los verbos que terminan en hará o eré. Okay. Yo comeré, yo voy a comer, I'm going to eat. I will eat, yo comeré. I am going to go, yo voy a ir. I will go, yo iré. Ok, yes. okay. Por ejemplo, si yo tengo entradas para el concierto de... ¿Quién va a venir? Vilma Palma Vampiros. Right. Técnicamente ya estoy comprometido a esa fecha. Es bien raro. Va a ser raro que yo cambie mis planes porque ya tengo de tickets. Es lo que más o menos como el ejemplo que quería darle con Marielo. Tomorrow's the concert. Oh, esos chavos los he visto como cinco veces cuando andaban aquí rebotando y hoy ya vienen otra vez. Bien. Por ejemplo, lo que decía Marielos, imagínense, Marielos, cumpleaños, su hijo, el número cuatro, va a cumplir años, ya va a ser adulto y no sé qué, le están planeando una gran fiesta el sábado, pero vengo yo, le invito, porque le digo, Marielos, la clase vamos a ir a almorzar el sábado, ¿quiere ir? Puede que quiera ir, pero... It depends on the, the time, maybe. Because no, 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 I understand, but imagine, <laughs> imagine your son's, your son's is a lunch, it's, the birthday oh. party is a lunch. So maybe Marielos wants to go, but here is her decision, you know, her compromise with her son or her compromise with the class. But she would say, oh, man, I really want to go, but I can't. Why? Because that day will, will be my son's birthday. We will have a, a lunch. Or that day I will have lunch with my with my son. Solo el hecho que ya está diciendo will soy más fuerte que está comprometida. Entonces Marcela tiene un plan de que quizás en dos años se quiere casar. Pero si el, el, no, el novio ya le propuso matrimonio, hoy ya no se va a casar, hoy ya se casará porque ya está comprometida. Y mucho más si hay lugar, fecha, hora. Yes. Por eso dicen, the party will be in Barcelona Hotel. The party will be, where is the Christmas party? Oh, it will be in Club Tecleño. Example, right? Okay, but we will do that tomorrow. We'll practice more tomorrow. Okay, class?
Okay. okay teacher. Thank you very much. Thank Have a wonderful teacher. Monday. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.